We all know the routine of every student. Get up 10 minutes before your bus comes, rush through your morning routine, and then sprint out the door to catch your bus just to sit through eight hours of school and come home to a pile of homework. But did you ever stop to think about what your teachers' lives were like? Usually the first thing I do when I get home is I exercise and um, just kind of relax for a little while. I have two young children at home that get home from school around 4 o'clock, so I take that first hour just to kind of get stuff done that I need to get done. I coach, so I usually get home pretty late, around 7, 8 o'clock. On a regular school day, I probably get home anywhere between 4 and 8 o'clock. I have a dog, so the first thing I do is I play with her and I take her for a walk. When I get home, I eat. That's the first thing. <laughs> Wash my hands, eat. I try to unwind and do nothing that has to do with school. I get home probably about 4, 35 o'clock, and then I'm dealing with my family. I got my three babies at home, my wife to take care of. The worst part is the grading. Not necessarily because it's it, it it's so bad, but just because there's so much of it. On a productive day, I would say I probably respond to over 15 emails and grading papers. I'm the person that does it all in one sitting, so probably a whole class to 30 to 33 papers. There's so many favorite things about about teaching, about being in education. Students ask lots of questions, and sometimes they ask questions I never even thought of. And I like that. I, I like that give and take, you know, that I have with students. Um, just what feels like three very fast years is really exciting. Um, getting to watch that growth is very, very exciting. I hate when people are like, well, what would you do if you weren't teaching? I don't know. I've always wanted to be a teacher. This is my 25th year teaching. I really enjoy what I do. And if I didn't, then I wouldn't be here. I would, I would choose another career or, or do something else. One of the most rewarding feelings is just to see your kids after you didn't educated them or you didn't work with them, to become successful in the, in, the, in the working field. I just love this job. So I don't feel like I'm working. I forget that this is my career, which I guess is a great thing, so I'm just always happy to come back. My mentor shared with me, Deborah, it's never about how much you know, and students will never care about how much you know unless they know how much you care. And I really take that philosophy to heart, and so... When so, with that being said, take time to appreciate each and every one of your teachers for the great sacrifices they make to provide us an exceptional education. Thank you.